What's going on YouTube? This is that Asian dude and we're gonna bring you back with the part two of my Ravens offensive guide or scheme. So anyways, we're gonna be right in uh Well, you guys already know about Strong Coast. I am not gonna go over it, but we're gonna be going over weak twins. Now I don't know why, but this formation has looked really good for me. Alright, so um the first thing we're gonna look at is read FB flat. Read fullback flat, I guess. Alright, so basically, um, what I like to do is I like readjusting X on the curl to make it a little bit deeper. Or you could just leave him back on his original route and uh, just leave everything else the same. So, this is what the play should look like. And if it's man-to-man -man coverage, you could either hit B or A. Now, um, the two flat zones are to bring down the f uh, flat routes are to bring down the flat zones. Excuse me. Alright, so run the play. And uh, look, there's no flat zones over there, so you could easily hit the running back um, on that little uh, wheel route or the swing route. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll keep running it for a couple times. And uh, right there, look, the, f the, the curl route will always get open eventually, all right? So that was zone coverage, and the curl route will get open. And it looks like it was a uh, man blitz, and uh, at that point, the curl route will get open and um, yeah you could hit the little post route uh, whenever it crosses up because the little corner route right there will somewhat suck in some of the hook zones now you right there I meant to check down to Y because he was wide open and if you guys can replay it back the corner route and the post route does get open so this is press man to man coverage and uh, I actually meant to press B or B on that post route but I accidentally hit X. So run it again. And uh, look, even in zone coverage, when the tight end comes across to fake back out, you could hit him there. <clears throat> so that's a first passing play. Um, you know, j j just a simple, uh, just a simple play that where you need to make reads. All right, so read fullback flat. Um, the next play we're gonna be looking at is bubble screen and. Um, <laughs> Basically, you guys probably already know what's going to go here. You could either throw the bubble screen, but I wouldn't really recommend it. Um, Alright, so I I'm going to go into replay. I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. I know how to read coverages. Right there, I wouldn't have thrown it in-game. So, uh, Alright, so look, notice how the nickelback or the other cornerback is aligned with this cornerback. That means that it is man coverage, or in my opinion. Now, if the if the if the cornerback is aligned up like this like a little bit closer up that means it's zone and you can see the cornerback on the right side stays because it's zone so when it's zone uh, I always like to put a on a drag that's for sure and then you could uh, s you could wheel route the fullback and then swing out the running back and then you could even uh what is it you could fade the B receiver now uh, this is like a makeshift screen, and uh, just notice what ha what happens. Pretty good yardage, right? So uh, you get a decent amount of yardage, and you could even hit the bubble screen. Um, look uh, right here. It looks like it's zone coverage. I believe it's cover two, but always have the flat zone open. I mean the drag. All right, so it looks like it was man-to-man -man coverage, and uh, the drag will get open. It looked like zone coverage at first, but whatever. So now this is man coverage for sure. Now when you see it's man coverage and you're not even sure, just always make sure and put the drag, all right? So look, it's man coverage, but the drag route will always get open right as like as a quick read. So that's the second passing play, all right? Um, we're going to go back at the weak twins and we're going to be looking at the play HB option. Alright, so uh, looks like it's man coverage, alright? Um, what I like to do here is I always, uh, I would put the fullback on a streak, but you don't have to, alright? So we'll hike the play, or we'll, we'll run the play, and notice how that was covered too, and uh, the, the tight end somewhat did get open, but I hit it a little bit too late. Um, it's cover to sink, and when it's cover to sink, uh, you could easily hit the hit little hitch route, which is one of my favorite routes to go in this game. So it looks like it's off coverage. Uh, we'll run the play. It's man coverage, and the corner out and the post route gets open. Um, 
this formation you could run either side um, I'm just running to the left side just because that's how it's set and um, look the post route will always get open man coverage and the corner out home oh I, I don't know how he jumps it probably cuz Joe Flacco is a right-handed quarterback but um, the option route is always a choice and what the hell but um the option route is always a choice man uh, look if it's man coverage it'll do an out route if it's zone coverage it'll just do a little curl look right there I I didn't even mean to press that, but okay. But anyways, look, the corner out, you could, <laughs> he keeps, they keep jumping it, but um, the corner out, uh, if the flat zone gets sucked down, you could hit the corner out. Now look, look at the option route. Look at how open he is, and Joe Flacco just throws it on the lineman's head. So anyways, you just got to make reads. I mean, that's what it comes down to. Um, that's basically it. Alright, so uh, the next play we're going to be looking at is PA Boot Slide. We'll go random play. And uh, basically, this is kind of like um, PA Read and all those other plays. So we'll hike the play, or we'll hike the ball, and look, cover three zone. And Tory Smith gets wide open on the little uh, rounded post route. Man coverage. Tory Smith gets wide open on that little post route. Why does this happen? Man coverage, there. There's no way you can stop it with man coverage. Now, with zone coverage, you still cannot stop it just because um, B right there on that little slant or whatever, he sucks down some of the hook zones. And the deep zones are too deep for it. Now, you could even roll out, roll out. You could hit A on the little corner route. Um, it was open, but Joe Flacco just can't put on the money. Look, the A on the corner route for uh, zone coverage, I mean uh, man coverage, it will always kill it. Just make reads and you'll be okay. Look, cover one, and right there, Steve Smith gets open on that little slant. And uh, we're just gonna go over a couple of run plays that I like, uh, which is halfback lead or basically every run play, I guess. But uh, my main ones will be high half toss weak and halfback blast. Um, the audible is halfback blast, which is perfect. All right. So what I like to do is motion in Steve Smith, couple steps, and then hike the ball. Uh, Torrey Smith just couldn't get his block, but if you sub in a receiver with the good blocking stats, you'll be okay. Look, notice how the middle is wide open. Halfback blast. I'll take that. What is that, six, seven yards? I'll, t I'll definitely take that, man. Um, look, uh, in this situation, I would still run the halfback toss. Look, Torrey Smith, he, he just can't block, but notice how he had a clear lane if he had a um, if he had a better receiver that could block. So we'll go to halfback blast, and we could even motion this guy in. So motion him in, and then right there, Clay Matthews stops me, but what is that, five yards? I'll take it. The middle's wide open again, so we'll just run the play. Halfback blast, really good running play, man. So... Um, you could even run it to the right side. Uh, we'll do the halfback toss. All right. Motion him across the field, and uh, come on. Justin Forsett just could out outrun him, but it's about the numbers, man. Uh, whichever side looks better, you run. You want to run it to that side. Look at that. Well, if you get good blocking, you will break free for what is that? 15 yards. And uh, some of the audibles like half like slants is a really good, I mean, pretty good thing. Halfback option um, is pretty good too. So, um, yeah, halfback option, pretty good uh, check down play. Look, check down. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed part two of my offensive Raven, uh, Baltimore Ravens offensive scheme, man. And I will see you guys later.